Hi team, welcome to the uh, unit six uh, walkthrough. So here we go. We've been asked to write the first four terms for the following sequences, and that is just plug and chug. This is the way I would like you to express your answers. So over here for this sequence here, I can recognize that it's an arithmetic sequence. Um, and uh, for n is equal to one, it's gonna give me the first term. One minus one is zero, so it's just minus five. So this one is gonna start with the term minus five, and then put a comma for the next one. And I see here I'm adding 13 each time. So I can substitute in n is two for the second term, or I can just add 13, it's the same thing. So minus five plus 13 is eight, eight plus 13 is 21, 21 plus 13 is 34, and that's uh, the first four terms. It would be nice if you put an ellipsis there to show me, yeah, I know that the sequence can continue. Okay, working the other way is you could go like, okay, what's T2? T2 is equal to negative five plus two minus one multiplied by 13, work it out, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's eight, <laughs> but you don't have to. Okay, you can just do it this way. If you recognize that it's arithmetic. If you're not sure, yeah, go ahead and substitute in. T4 is equal to negative five plus uh, four minus one times 13. Four minus one happens to be three. Three times 13 happens to be 39. 39 minus five happens to be 34. So we get the same thing, one method or the other method. Okay, this one here, Tn is equal to 18 multiplied by one third to the n minus one. Ah, this is a geometric series sequence, sorry, geometric sequence. If I ever get those two words straight, I'll be better at teaching math, I guess. Um, and so we could say, well, the first term is gonna be 18 because I recognize that that's A there. And then the next term, I just divide it by a third. So that's six. The next term, I divide that by a third, that's two. The next, I divide that by a third and that's, oh, I got, I got a really long decimal. Oh, what am I gonna write down? I'll write down the fraction if you value your sanity, two thirds. And then say that continues. Okay, uh, so just give me the fractions. Fractions are great. Decimals are really gross and annoying and stop putting them on your test. <laughs> now it's not true, but uh, it's fine, it's okay. So two thirds there. Uh, if you were doing it the other way where you were like, okay, let's work out what the third term is. You can go ahead and substitute in there. 18 multiplied by one over three to the three minus one. Three minus one happens to be two. One third to the two happens to be one over nine. 18 divided by nine happens to be two. You get the same thing, okay? So you can do this or you can just keep dividing by the thing over and over again. Okay, now let's do the more fun part. If we have to take these two sequences above and find the sum of their first 21 terms, all right? Well, that requires us to say, well, the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series is equal to the number of terms divided by two uh, plus, oh no, multiplied by, sorry, uh, 2a plus n minus 1 times the difference, okay? Common difference, all right? So we're going to need a little chart here, and I'm going to zoom in and work a little smaller as well you should too. Uh, here we go. Whoop, yep. All right, here we go. So my little chart is going to be a equals, well, the first term was, oh, what was it, minus 5? Minus 5. The uh, common difference was 13, and the number of terms I've been asked for is 21. All right, so now let's go ahead and substitute into this formula. Working black. So there, the sum of the first 20, 21 terms is equal to 21 divided by 2 multiplied by two times negative five plus uh, 21 minus one times 13, okay? And let's work this out in our heads as much as we can. 21 divided by two, I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, two times negative five, I see that I'm gonna get factors two that cancel in here. Uh, two times negative five is negative 10 plus um, 20 times 13. So 21 minus one is 20. 20 times 13 is 260. Okay, so then I'm going to I'm going to have 250 in there, and I'm going to divide 250 by two. So then I'm going to have 21 times 125, 
at this point, if, if I've lost you, I'm kind of not worried because you can just plug it on your calculator at that level. And if you plug it right, you're right. If you do it mental math, you're less likely to make a mistake. So 125 times 21 is uh, 2,625. And that is correct. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. If it's not, this video can live in infamy for all I care. Okay. So now this one, uh, TN is equal to 18. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's a geometric sequence. So if I have to add it together as a series, well, then I'm going to use uh, the sum of the first N terms of a geometric series is the first term multiplied by one minus R, the common ratio to the number of terms all divided by one minus R. And in this case, uh, my first term A was 18, my common ratio was 1 over 3, and my number of terms was again 21. So I go ahead and substitute in. The sum of the first 21 terms of this is uh, the first term, 18, multiplied by 1 minus 1 third raised to the power 21 and the bracket, all divided by one minus one third, okay? And I would still do a little bit of simplification here. I see that I'm going to have two thirds on the bottom. One minus one third is two thirds. If I have a pizza and I take away one third, I will have two thirds of a pizza left. He says, thinking maybe I should explain that. So I'm dividing by two thirds. So let's flip and multiply. I'm gonna multiply by three and divide by two. So there we'll have um, 18 divided by two is nine. Nine times three is 27. So this is equal to 27 multiplied by one minus one over three to the 21. I'm also, if I've lost you at this point, just plug it on your calculator at this level and don't make mistakes and you'll be fine. But if you wanna see how I would mental math that to get it simpler, this is how I would do it. And then I can't do that in my head. I don't know that many people can. Uh, so you go uh, one. Well, I, I know that uh, here. Claire, most people, uh, it's 27. Okay. <laughs> right. So, but to get an exact value, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think, I think rounding here is going to be fine. I would accept a rounded answer. Um, one minus bracket one divided by three and the bracket raise that number, which is a third to the power 21 equals, oh, it's so very close to one that it almost is one, but that's, I think this will actually show up and then multiply by 27 equals. So this is 26.9, how many nines? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, is it? No, eight nines. So this is equal to 26.1234567 and then there was a 7 after there and i'm going to say that's approximately equal to that as this number n goes towards infinity this number will become 27 because this term will approach 0 okay so if that if n is infinite then if you do like this series out to infinity you get exactly 27 all right, cool. So that's that question. Any questions, hit me up by email. Otherwise, uh, I remain your humble math servant, Mr. Jennings. Bye for now.